The Man Who Died Tuesday, December 29th, 2015. After crashing into a vehicle carrying four Secret Service agents in New Hampshire, was uh, driving without a valid license and had an extensive criminal history, authorities said. Bruce Danforth, 45, was driving with two passengers in a four-door Mercury Sable headed north on Route 16 early Tuesday evening when his car crossed into oncoming traffic and slammed into a Ford Taurus carrying the on-duty agents. The on-duty agents, police said in a statement. Danforth, who died at the scene, lacked a valid license and, quote, was known to this department and has an extensive criminal history, end quote. The Wakefield Police Department said Danforth's two passengers, Natasha Marowski, 35, and Christina Buswell, 21, were taken to hospitals, as were the four Secret Service agents who have not been identified. At this time, our personnel have sustained what is described as serious but non-life-threatening injuries, Secret Service Director Joseph Clancy said in a statement. The agents did not belong to any particular candidate's protective detail, but instead were part of a jump team working as additional security and standing post at campaign events. They were en route from one campaign event to another at the time of the accident. A government official said all four are believed to have worked in field offices in the New England area Hillary Clinton the article states was traveling between campaign stops in the area around the time of the accident she greeted a crowd in Berlin New Hampshire by describing the drive to the town hall event as challenging And she gives a full statement, quote, I was saddened and concerned to hear about the serious accident that occurred last night, Clinton said in this statement. My husband and I send our prayers and condolences to all the victims and their families. We are grateful every day for the service, dedication, and professionalism of the U.S. Secret Service. This has been Me the People. Break this news.